While we've seen showing you these troubling videos over the last few days as a rise of anti-Semitic hate has led to attacks on the Jewish community here in America. And now the Anti-Defamation League has released data showing the extent of this hate. As an analysis of Twitter shows over 17,000 tweets. How are they allowed to get away with this? Using some variation of the phrase, Hitler was right in the seven days surrounding the start of the recent conflict in Israel. Here to react is Israel's ambassador to the U.S. and U.N., Gilad Erdan. Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank You're you for actually my me. first on-set guest, too, since COVID, so it's quite an honor and quite fitting. Before we talk about what's happening, the anti-Semitic attacks happening here in the United States, which is so unfortunate to see, talk to me about this sort of the, the outcome of this conflict. Hamas trying to declare victory, Israel saying, uh, it, it, of course, it was our victory. What's the status there? Look, it's always the way of those uh, terror organizations that are suppressing their own uh, people to uh, declare a victory because that's the way they continue to keep their, you know, uh, regime alive. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's not the truth. We succeeded to hit and to hit them hard. We significantly, you know, degraded their military and terrorist capabilities. Uh, we took out many of their uh, militants, commanders, uh, we dismantled uh, a, a huge part of their subterranean, you know, terror tunnels that mm -hmm. they have built under the city of Gaza. But unfortunately, uh, it's it's only a band-aid. It's not a cure. The cure for Gaza will will uh, happen only after uh, we, you know, after there will be a regime change and after the Gaza Strip will be demilitarized. Because as long as they are allowed to produce missile and rocket and the international community basically gives them a pass to continue with it. Mm -hmm. So they will use it, the, this vicious method, and will attack our civilians time and again. And we will have no other choice but to defend our own citizens. Absolutely. You know, there was no doubt under the Trump administration of the overwhelming support for the state of Israel. How have, how have you perceived the support of the Biden administration as Israel has had to do what it needs to do to defend its people who are, whose rockets are raining down on cities further into Israel than ever before? Has the Biden administration been as supportive as you would like? Yes, uh, and I don't intend to give grades to the president of the I won't ask you. Don't <laughs> to worry. the president of the United States. I was encouraged because I was on the, the president and the prime minister calls uh, each time they spoke on the phone, like six times, and I heard uh, a strong commitment came, that came from the president to the security of the state of Israel and our right to defend uh, our citizens. He even said uh, yesterday or two days ago uh, in his statement that he is committed to replenish you know, the Iron Dome uh, system. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, he supported us. We, we didn't agree on everything. I mean, the timing went to end. Uh, this uh, operation exactly. Are but you saying I, I, you would have liked more time to? to I'm not sure. I'm to not, hit Hamas? I'm, I'm not sure, really. I'm not sure because it's there is no specific formula when you need to end those sure. military uh, campaigns. You have to feel that you already start uh, succeeded. You know to restore your deterrence, and that is something that we will have to see and wait and see if uh, that happened. But as I said, we succeeded to significantly. Uh, degrade their terror capabilities. They didn't expect uh, such a response from our mm -hmm. side. And I hope uh, it will bring us some calm and <laughs> relative uh, period of time Let's like we so. had after the uh, last operation that took place in 2014. Prime Minister Netanyahu said if even a few rockets are launched to break the ceasefire, there will be an overwhelming response as Definitely. well. Definitely. We will never expect uh, uh, accept a terror organization indiscriminately firing missile and rockets at our civilian and no other country would Who tolerate could? <laughs> Nobody yeah, no could. other country that's what i asked member states here at the un when i spoke here i looked in at their eyes and i said what would you do if those were your citizens your children Absolutely. running to the shelters real quick the anti-semitic attacks we're seeing in the united states what do you make of that and, and should more be done here well, I think it's appalling. I saw one of the attacks uh, that took place happen it's just a couple of blocks from here. Yeah, here and near my embassy, near uh, the Israeli consulate uh, on the Second Avenue, and it's appalling. But it's not Israel's problem or the Jewish problem. It's a worldwide phenomena. It's it's, it's an American phenomena. It's mm -hmm. it's the oldest form of uh, racism, and this is something I expect all public figures here to condemn and to condemn strongly. 
and also I expect uh, you know the governors, the mayors, the administration. Has to there been strong enough condemnation, especially no. from Democrats? I, I, not to get partisan, no, but has there been enough it's not about condemnation Democrats. from I leadership? Expect, I expect everyone, all public figures, to condemn it and to demand the governors, the mayors, the administration to take all necessary steps to make those perpetrators to pay a heavy price. Uh, for what they are doing now, because it's appalling. And it's appalling not for Israel, it's for the American society. Well, one thing I, I, I think our viewers hope understand is the existential nature of your job, of, of the people that live under siege in the state of Israel, fighting for your very existence every single day, surrounded by neighbors who, who have hated you, although there's been more peace, and by neighbors who fund groups like Hamas to fire missiles on your population. Um, Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much. For joining us this Thank morning, you for and me. Godspeed to all, to everyone in Israel and, and Jews throughout the world who Thank are facing. Thank you for having me, and we'll continue to fight uh, terrorists and terrorism. Amen. Well said. Thank you, sir. Appreciate